In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use sticker paper collage sheets as an Insta background, how to use coffee filters to bulk up a focal image, as well as a few other tricks. Grab a coffee. So here are the sticker paper collage sheets masterboards that I created. I'll put a link to the video so you can see how I create created these. So I'm going to choose this one and I am going to do an Insta background. I want to jumpstart my creative process. I don't want to muck with paper, a lot of paint. So I'm just going to cut this to size and I'll have some leftovers to put on a mini composition book or to use for other collage purposes. Just checking there. So it is so super simple. Just peel, place, and press. Now this sticker paper is very sticky, so be sure you've got it in the right place. Now I've got some on the edge, and if you don't have enough to cover the edge, I'm going to show you how to deal with that. At the end of the video, I am going to review all the steps using my art journal prompt and process cards. So I'm taking some white gesso and just rubbing it on the edge, melding into and going on top of the sticker paper, as well as the places where I did not have sticker paper coverage. Now this is an important technique to use because sometimes you don't have quite enough of the sticker paper or collage sheet and you want to extend it. So I'm just rubbing that out, blending it. Now putting the gesso is going to help the paint stick a little bit better. It kind of gives that soft, dreamy kind of look. And it gets rid of any of the hard edges. Now once that's dry, I am now going to I guess I was deciding if I was going to use some of those coffee filters. We'll come back to that. I'm going to colorize that. And I know that on the background, on that collage sheet, I used orange and pink. So I'm just going to colorize that, e that edge. Now, I could have left it soft and cloudy like that. That's a personal choice. But I'm going to show you both ways. In case you have a larger area where you ran out of collage paper. So this is making a dark edge around or a darker edge around the outside of this page. And I could have left it like this, but if you do have a larger area that doesn't have collage paper, you might want to grab the stencils or stamps that you used and redo it. I happen to have them out, so there was no problem. So I took this X-Trail stencil and grabbed my white and just put it over the edges just to make everything look like it was all there from the beginning. This is me being super picky. Now I have these coffee filters that I've colorized with leftover paint or during a stash building se session. This one has Art Deco leaves imprinted and splattered with gold paint. And I like how it matches the colors of the background. Now, my focal image, I'm going to use this fox from this tiny little napkin. And I, this one, the hedgehog, he's also cute and the colors would work. But I'm going to go with the fox today. You can get those napkins from Ninny's Napkins. Remove all the extra plies. Now sometimes these little folded tissues, they have actually three plies. So double, triple check. Now because I'm going to be gluing this on top of that dark colored coffee filter, I don't want the fox's fur, the white of his, you know, under his chin to, to be colorized. So I'm going to glue them down onto regular coffee paper first. This is going to keep the colors of the napkin true. 
If I was gluing it straight onto an empty or white background, I could avoid uh, skip this step. Once it's dry, I'm just cutting this out. Now, we're using the coffee filter to bulk up the focal image, to give weight to the focal image. The other thing that I'm doing here is I'm combining several images from a napkin to bulk up the composition. I'm going to layer these two foxes on top of each other to give weight to the page. These foxes are perfect size for an ATC for putting on a mini composition book, but they're a little small for a five by seven or seven by 10 art journal page. Now, if you were doing a larger art journal page, you might add three or five of these foxes. And I've offset it off to the side because I like the look of it. I like the round edge of that. Now I want to decide what sentiment. And so I flip through my sentiments binder and I find one in my grateful, thankful, blessed. Actually, there's two there that I might. So I'm auditioning them. And I'm going to layer it over top of that coffee filter as well. And I've decided to go with the fine joy in the ordinary. It's a little bolder, a little bit bigger, and it seems to match the page. I'm using my punch, corner punch here, to corner these edges because I've got that roundness of the coffee filter, and I just want to mirror that. The X-Trail stencil, those X's are also rounded. So you've got lots of elements on the page that are working. Now my background, I don't really want to focus on those butterflies because that isn't something that I want. And I'm needing some contrast here. So I'm grabbing my dot stamp and I'm going to put on black paint. With a makeup sponge and then add these dots to the background. This pushes back those butterflies and gives me that necessary contrast. And I'm not putting it where the coffee filter is going because I don't really need it because I'm going to be gluing that down and I really don't want to see the dark dots peeking through. I'm spraying it with my Murphy's oil soap mixture until I get a chance to clean it. Always clean your stamps after you use acrylic paint. Now I'm putting a coat of fluid matte medium here and I'm going to glue the coffee filter down. Just making sure it's exactly where I want it. Pressing it down, making sure there's enough adhesive and then covering it on top. Now, before I was going to dry it, but I thought, oh, this is wet. Why don't I just glue these foxes on it right now? Because it's already wet. It's got a coat of medium on it. Layering this up so I have two little foxes. They are so cute and adorable. And now I will dry this. And once dry, I'm going to cut off the excess and make sure that it is glued down properly. Any leftovers, they're just going back into my stash. They'll be they'll find their way onto an, another art journal page. Now I wanted to add a little bit more weight to the focal image and I'm looking around my studio and I see this posies in a row stencil and I'm using it to make a border around the coffee filter. I'm using black for contrast. This is going to, like I said, add weight to the focal image and add some more interest. 
It also works really well with the X's that are in that X trail stencil that was in that Insta border sticker paper. Insta background. It also adds a little whimsy to the page. I searched for a quote with foxes being sly or something. Couldn't find anything. If you know of one, uh, leave it in the comment section. Now I'm edging it using the makeup sponge and black acrylic paint. This frames it. And if you've watched any of my videos, you see me doing this about 99.9% .9 of the time. Loving the look. I'm going to put some black paint around the edge just to make the sentiment stand out a little bit more. And then I'm going to make sure I dry this before I glue it down. Otherwise, you're very likely to end up with a smudge. So using the sticker paper as an Insta background really saved time and got me right into the creative process. It also gave me my color scheme. So this page took me very little time to do. It was under, it's just over 30 minutes. Now I wanted to make this stand out a little bit more. So I used my angle brush and I shaded around. And then I'm adding more shading around the edge of the page. Often I put a little bit and then I see what I, if it's good enough and then I'll come back and add more if I think that the page needs it. And I'm shading around the sentiment as well. This helps your eye go to the focal image, to the sentiment. And actually the sentiment with the focal image all become the focal. Now I decided that I wanted to brighten the colors of the napkin focal. So I'm using acrylic paints, the orange and the pink, and just watering it down and just doing a wash over some of those areas, just to brighten it that little bit extra to make it stand out. I thought I was done, but then I decided I'm gonna grab my Posca paint pen and I'm gonna dot white dots in the middle of these posies. And I like how that goes. I give dots to the eyes as well. And then I decide as usual, once I start doodling, to put dots all the way around the border. Being careful not to put my hand in the wet Posca paint. It takes a little time to dry, so you've got to be careful. Adding dots around the sentiment as well. It's these little things, these little additions that really bump up your page. So now let's recap. I use the Insta background collage sheet. This one was a sticker paper. Quick and easy, not having to glue anything down.
I'm using an analogous color scheme. These are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, that pink orange. I'm using colored coffee filters. And remember, I'll put a link to that video in the I cards in the top right hand corner. I chose to use a napkin of these cute little foxes for the focal image. And the coffee filter, the napkin, all work together to make the focal image. I added some stenciling, and then I used the stencil to create a border around the coffee filter. I edged the page with black using my shading technique, and I added a sentiment. And then I got out my Posca pan and I did some doodling just to add those little details. Thanks so much for joining me. Go find joy in the ordinary. I hope you give several of the techniques that you've learned in this video a try. Until next time, go get creative.